A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Srivastava and I'm from Network Nuts. So welcome to a new video. What's in this video? I cannot see anything more than some pics here. So before I come to the video and will explain you the topic that I'm going to share you in this video. Let me go through some memories. The memories of World Cup 2014. Amazing. Germany won the World Cup and it's, um, it's amazing. So I've got some very interesting uh, movies uh, pics here for you. So let me just share uh, some of the pictures here. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about the Vagrant. What is a Vagrant? and how can you use the vagrant boxes to deploy the vm in a very fast manner so before i start the video let's go through the memory lane and see some of the pictures that we have clicked uh, to support the germany so if there is any uh, uh, any other german fan i am expecting a like on the video or a comment here so let's share some of this this is uh, a t-shirt supporting the germany that's great said me and my younger son arnav he's a damn good football player let me make it bigger yeah makes sense so he's a damn good football player and he plays for his school team nice a champion stuff yeah same t-shirt so we if you have uh, came to our home during the fifa then you will see a lot of German flags and the t-shirts and uh, like uh, say what flags and mufflers of Germany 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 everywhere so actually our uh, like whole family is a German fan and as far as the clubs are concerned we are a die-hard Bayern Munich fan so obviously Alok and Arnav here I really love those movements really love those movements so did this one is for the camera not playing just prank here so this is supporting the germany and they won it that's great so let's move on to the video now yes so what's in this video so as i have told you i'm going to explain you about the vagrant so if you are not aware about what is vagrant and how it is used i will recommend you to go through a small post that i have posted on our blog so let me just go and share that also if you just go through Network Nuts website and if you scroll down here, this is my phone number. Oh, I said it in public. Oh my god. Okay. If you just scroll down a bit, this is our website. You'll see a blog here, our Linux blog, or the recent post will be coming on here. It contains a lot of information. The home page act actually gives you a summary of what we do. So I click here using Vagrant to create the virtual machines. So if you just want to know what is Vagrant and how it can be used to create the virtual machine. So I have a step by step instructions here. So I have already got the Vagrant installed in my machine along with the virtual box. So I'm not going to share that part. The part that I'm going to share is that how to uh that picture is beautiful okay sorry i'm i'm really sorry <laughs> okay so i'm going to, to show you how you can use vagrant to deploy a box for or to create a vm here so i'll just open so just make sure that your virtual box is installed so i have i have got the virtual box installed here let me share it in. so i've got a virtual box ready here perfect i've got this virtual box here and I've got Vagrant also installed with me. So just minimize it. You can use a Vagrant hyphen hyphen version command. So the Vagrant is also installed. So I want to create a RHEL machine or a CentOS machine using the Vagrant. So the first step is very simple. You sh should know the location of the Vagrant boxes. So I've there's a very beautiful site here. If you just go to vagrantbox.es. That's great. If you just open this site, it contains the list of the Vagrant boxes. So, P 
please feel free to use any of the box that you want to start with your practicals or you want to use for your uh, testing and the development so i can use a centos uh, machine here because i don't think i'll be getting any rel machine so let me check it out if i've got a centos 6 or 7 available here move down a bit so i should be getting something here here it is i've got a centos 7 here with puppet so i can copy this this is the location where the vagrant box is available here so either you can do a copy like this now if you i would like to have this picture in the background i'm sorry okay <laughs> so if you just what you want, need to do make sure that the virtual box is installed make sure that the vagrant is installed you some you create a folder any folder say i say vagrant CentOS. It can be any name. Feel free to use any name. So I go to Vagrant CentOS. Now the first thing that you need to do is that you need to initialize your box. So the command is Vagrant init. Give any name, say CentOS 7, I suppose, or I, I can simply write CentOS. It doesn't make any difference here. I'll just make sure that this is stretched out and this paste the link here this is the same location or the link that i had copied from here remember so this is the location of the vagrant box so just remember this site okay so i just press enter what it does it creates a, oh sorry this was me sorry so i create a vagrant file this is the main configuration file if i open this vagrant file you will see a lot of information i'll be explaining you all these things step by step but not right now this is the name of the virtual machine that I had just made and this is the location from where to download the box. That's great. So just do nothing. The box is not still here. If I open my virtual box, you cannot see a CentOS machine anywhere. It is a Ubuntu machine that I had used earlier. That's great. So I go back again. I give the command vagrant up. Make sure you have to be in that particular folder. Uh oh, I don't know what's happening. Caps lock is on vagrant up and press enter uh oh let me check if there is some issue or there's some error let me check it out so i will just try to give the command again and i'm just trying to pause the video and we'll show you once again just a moment please okay there was some problem with that location i, su I suppose there is uh, e either the box is not available so what i had done i just created another folder and I'm just trying to download some other box. That's the only thing I'm doing. So I had, I'm trying to download this one. Let me share it to you. It's a CentOS 6.5 box. This one. I'm just trying to use this link uh, rather than the earlier link. Earlier I was trying to use this. It's not working somehow. So I'm trying to get this box. So I copied this, the same stuff. And let's me press enter and keep my fingers crossed right so a file will be downloaded here you right now you don't need to actually modify anything here it's in ruby so it uh, it will be just defining the name of, of the box whatever you had given had given sent to a 65 and the location from where to download it the rest i'm going to explain it step by step that's great so once the vagrant file is there just write give the command vagrant up so what it do it goes to that http location and try to download the box if the url is working ha 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 very funny not so funny i press enter here and keep my fingers crossed that everything will be working and the location of the link will be, be coming there sir right. system sorry that was my students uh, something is not working no problem okay so it's now going to that location and trying to download the box there so yeah it's working hopefully so what i'm doing i'm just pausing it again because it it will take its own time so i'll come back when the download is 100 percent. so i'm just pausing it intentionally this time perfect so you can see there that the download is successfully completed now it's initializing the virtual machine or the vagrant box here see here
it may take slightly a couple of moments before it will come to life perfect so if i show you the virtual box can you see a vagrant 65 running here so this machine is actually being available inside the vag my virtual box because the the application that it use is the virtual box see here bringing machine default up with the virtual box provider so this is my machine here and if if i <coughs> excuse me if if i do a ll here earlier if if you see there was no directory here only the vagrant file was there but once the box is being downloaded you will find a couple of more directories available here so i'm not going into these directories right now so the point is that how can i access it but because if you see the virtual box i cannot use show i cannot use show here it is coming but on the centos ma a machine that i had just created i cannot use show so i cannot use the console of the virtual box then how to access it it's stupid to me no it's not stupid you can simply give a vagrant ssh there is a command here that's great see here the machine name has been changed from alloc at legacy to a uh, vagrant at localhost so if i do a cat etc issue it's a centos machine and if, if i give a if config this is some private ip which is being assigned by the vagrant so a machine is ready within a couple of minutes right and but i want the that it should be accessible from here the show should work isn't it so the next tip is that how can i en enable the gui in in a vagrant box it's very simple what you need to do just okay i'll just exit from here though it's not required but i'm doing it uh, because you are doing it for the first time just open up the vagrant file and if you scroll down a bit here you will find this line web gui just uncomment these three lines config vm provider virtual box the pr the provider name is please activate the gui and end if, when you activate these three lines means you are initializing or activating the gui in the virtual box save and come out so either you can hold the machine and bring it again look here still the show is not here so or you can do a reload so what i do is a graceful shutdown vagrant hold is the command to gracefully shut down the machine that's great who are oh i done it after a long time that's great so if i started again can you see it's available so if i sh start it again vagrant up you you can see that green color start is blinking just a moment yo see it is available under the centos so i can work on the machine which has just created a whole centos machine within a couple of movements using the vagrant and now i can access it the way i do it so i log in with root and the password is vagrant right so everything is av is available here so it is a brand new machine that you had just created without using any iso without using any uh, disk image but using the vagrant and you can still access it by the vagrant ssh command here vagrant ssh it's same machine perfect right so this is actually the, your first video in how to uh, use the vagrant boxes to deploy the vm you and you can have it for the testing environment as well as uh, for doing certain things so it's very easy right so then and then there are a couple of commands here it's very simple command say vagrant i can do a box list here just a moment please i have to do it here vagrant box list so it 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 will show me two boxes are available using the vagrant so one is the centos and another is the precise 64 if you see here there here it is this is the ubuntu machine and this is the centos which i had just created so you can use this you can remove a, a box though i am not going to remove it 
vagrant box remove and then give the name so but i am I'm, I'm not going to do it halt is as i had told you using the halt and suspend and resume can be used for the like hibernate option so but this is actually a very small video just to show you the power of vagrant or the or the versatility of the vagrant to deploy the vms like this like the way germany has beaten the like the brazil in 7-1 the goals are coming like this yes there's a right example ah uh, like i'm sorry if i had of if i have offended any brazilian fans but i am a german fan and th that is the match that i love to watch and watch and watch and ag again and there was like uh, some uh, humor going on on the like internet i had uh, read it that uh 30 percent of the of the brazil is covered by the forest and the rest is covered by manual never <laughs> so that was that was really funny so okay fine jokes and soccer apart so i hope you like this very small tip how to create the machine please try to do it again vagrant is a real fun in working with and in cup in more videos then i I will tell you uh, how to provision the virtual boxes or the boxes created by the vagrant and a lot of other stuff. So thank you very much. See you again soon with some new tips, tricks and really interesting things along with the Germany and, and the Brazil match of 2014. Bye. God bless. Take care.